Okay, this is the fourth video in the series on how to get your arms to the proper position at the top of the back swing. If you haven't watched the previous ones, please go watch them. This video will make a lot more sense if you watch them. Okay, remember in our previous videos, we learned how to hitch a rod, and we learned how to fold our arms. In this video, we're going to combine, we're going to fold our arms and we're going to turn the body. And we're going to do this standing straight up. I know it's, it's a little frustrating because it's such a small change, but you learn this change and then it'll be easier when you're down bent over. Uh, when you start turning, the feeling in your arms changes completely. You think it really feels like you're swinging your arms around your body. But when you try to swing your arms around your body, all kinds of weird things happen. So you need to learn to make this movement while your shoulders are turning. And I want you to do it standing up. I want you to do it taking all the angles out of the golf swing so that you can just focus on the arm movement and none of these weird angles will come in to fool you. So the move, really straightforward. You do the fold as you're turning. So just fold and turn. Fold and turn. Fold and turn. Just think about hitching a ride as you turn. Now the way I turn, it's a shoulder movement. I don't use my hips or anything else. It's just a shoulder movement. So I'm turning my shoulders as I'm folding my arms. Now I'm not swinging around and letting the momentum put them in the right position. I could, because you know what, what position you get around if you don't do anything? If you just swing around and stop? Yeah, you're in that same position. But because I know what's going on, I can let my arms be a little bit more active in the backswing to ensure they're getting in the right spot because I've drilled it in so many times before I've turned, and I hope you have too, drilled it in just 100, 200, 300 times. Do it till you're just sick of doing it. Then come on to this drill, and then do this drill till you're sick of doing it. We wanna make this automatic, where you don't even have to think about it in your golf swing. So just take your arms, put in the position, and turn and fold. Again, just turn and fold. Now what I'm doing as I'm turning, so I explained before, I get just a little push with my lead arm. Just a little push, and then I, that starts my turn. That's kind of my trigger is my for my back turn. Just a little push, and as I'm doing my back turn, I'm folding my trail arm and letting my lead arm come up to shoulder level. It's the same movement that you did here, only now we're turning the shoulders. Again, do that drill a hundred times. Do it standing straight up. Do it till you're sick of doing it. And then do it some more. Drill it in till it's automatic. Drill it in till you get, can get to that position at the top without even thinking about it. And again, remember, the arms stay in front of your chest. It's going to feel, what, while you're doing this, like they're swinging around your body. They are not swinging. What you're feeling is as your body turns, its energy gets transferred to the arms and down to the club head. And what you're actually feeling is, that energy actually ends up going into the toe of your club head, believe it or not. Not the, not the shaft and not the head, it actually goes out to the furthest part, which is the toe. That's why it wants to turn. That energy is actually pulling your arm in a turn. And that's why it feels like it's, you're swinging around. Believe it or not, the toe of your club is actually pulling your arms around. And 
Again, I don't know if I've mentioned it in the previous videos, but you should know that this lead arm rotates as it goes back. I, I don't think you even can do this. Make sure the lead arm rotates. You want your, the back of your hand pointing to the sky in a flat wrist. It's just, and it's an arm rotation. It is not a hand rotation, okay? Just let your arm rotate up. It should go to that position naturally, as I showed you in the swinging exercises. Notice that it squares naturally and it rotates naturally. And it naturally gets in that position. Uh, the reason it does that is, as I explained before, the force from your turn, the energy works its way down its arm through the clubs and to the toe of the club. And golf clubs are built so that they rotate around the shaft. And it is the toe of the club, because it's offset, that is making your arms rotate. It's all that energy that gets stored up in the toe. I know it's hard to believe that the toe is manipulating your arms, but it is. Anyway, the move. Just hitch a ride and turn. Hitch a ride and turn. Now I want you to do that a hundred times. Get your clicker, do it in five increments or increments of five, just one, two, three, four, don't lose your balance, five, then click off five. It's been shown that when you try to do repetitions, if you just go through them all at once, you don't learn as much as, as, as if you do a few, stop, do a few more and stop. You'll drill in more if you do it that way. So do five at a time and then do at least a hundred in total. If it takes you more than a hundred, do more than a hundred. Do it till you're sick of it. Do it till you can do it without thinking about it.